Hi folks, just do a very quick video about my 10 gigabit um, networking experience. Um, now this is this really very hastily put together uh, machine. Uh, these um, drives are run by an Adaptec 6805 as you can see in there and that's the thing that's kind of blinking away with red lights. Um, but yeah, I wanted to transfer pretty much all of these and it contains probably about 20 terabytes of data uh, which isn't a lot by some of you lot out there, but it is enough for me. Um, yeah, I'm going to transfer all of that um, off. So basically kill all these drives. Um, and when I transfer them all into a fresh, in, well, as part of, a, of my free NAS machine, which is uh, sitting in the corner over there, which I'll show you in a, in a B-roll. Um, but I'm sure you're more interested in the 10 gigabit experience. So I'm, I've am i got two um, Mellanox... Damn it, I can't remember the names. I'll put them on, put them on the screen oh, there. Um, two Mellanox cards. Now they are next to impossible to find in the UK. In America and China, they're quite abundant. Uh, I made the mistake, I made the mistake of ordering them from China, or Hong Kong specifically, because it took almost three, uh, two and a half, best part of two and a half weeks to get here. And the tracking system was awful. Anyway, long story short, I just like just two and a half weeks of agony. Like, is it coming? Was it delivered? Blah 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 blah. Anyway, and in the end, um, I could have bought a little bit more, just for like ten quid more in the UK. Um, for well, yeah, for ten quid more in the UK. But I thought I'd try and get it cheaper in in, in China, and it was cheaper, but it just took way longer to get here. Um, yeah, the Melanox cards, but they are hooked up to a um, micro tick little you know what again i can't remember the name of the um of the hub but i'm um a marketic uh 10 gig hub and that's doing most of the grunt work um because i fully intend to have uh, more melanex cards coming my way but this time all from the uk um now um the secret as far as i'm concerned is when you use the um the microtic router um use it as a bridge it comes in two modes Bridge mode and router mode, or router mode, as you Americans would say. So, um, I fiddled around with it on router. By default, it's bridge. So when you when you get it, it's in bridge mode. But you can switch it over to router mode. I made the mistake because I was curious of putting it into router mode. Now, router mode means you can do so much more. Yeah, um, the router mode is is so powerful. But I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I literally don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to set up a DHCP server. Try to set up um, TFTP, and a couple of times I just reset it from back to the factory default settings because I just by me messing around with it in router mode, I couldn't get the 10 gig NICs to talk to each other at all. Like I said, I put it back into bridge mode and it, it was fine, no problems there. Um, another thing I would recommend is um, there's a video which I'm going to link to, but he recommended um, these FPFs. SFP um, plugins. I don't know what port plugs. I don't really call them, but yeah, you plug them in. They work first time. No problems whatsoever. No, no, um, no issues. Literally, the um, the guy's video. He said you plug it in and it works straight away. And if you put it in bridge mode, it does. It works pretty much straight away. Now, what the speeds um the speeds I'm getting. The speeds I'm getting. Oh, let's see if we can get that. So I'm copying some Go profiles over. Now, the speed I'm getting is not a limit on the cards. They are limit to um, this RAID array. So can, this RAID array is in RAID five, and and I think it's got a maximum of four hundred megabytes. I think it's one hundred megabytes. I can't remember. Um, so that's nowhere near maxing that out. And on my on my um, on my free NAS. Obviously, I've got that in the, as a ZFS one array, uh, so that can that's only you know that's, there's only so much you can push through that too. So I'm clearly not maxing the um, the, the ten gig cards out at all, but I am feature proof. So backing up and archiving my files is something I do on a almost monthly basis, and every so often, uh, just doing rebuilds, all that kind of stuff can take forever. So. This was really just trying me me trying to um, speed up that process. It's not something I do every day, of course, but when I do do it, it's sometimes just archiving my drives 
can take um can take days. Oh, this is oh, just peed up to four hundred. I'm swear it went up to five hundred once. Uh, but in the meantime, um, any questions? Comment below. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike, um, and uh, let me know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, guys. Cheers. Bye.